Greetings Team Selma and welcome back to school. Happy school year. Yes, it is the start of our 2021 school year and it will be a year like no other. Um, and I think you probably already know that. So we are doing something that has never been done before. We are opening schools during a pandemic. And I am so excited to have you all here. I look forward to supporting you throughout this entire year. Our theme for the year remains one team, one voice, committed to excellence. And I'm so excited to have all of you as part of the team. For our new teachers and staff, I thank you for choosing Team Selma. And again, we look forward to supporting you and making sure that you have a smooth entry into this school year, uh, that we can learn together and grow together. Now, I do want to give you just a little bit of information of what to expect uh, as we prepare for our scholars to return. Of course, they come back on August 24th, uh, and we will be ready for them by then. And you know that we are beginning the school year with our scholars 100% um, remote learning. Um, so with that in mind, uh, we do have a number of opportunities for professional learning for our teachers and staff this week, um, including uh, Mayon News. Uh, we are super excited to have um, Christy Coley to join us uh, to share about Mayon News. And a lot of you may be familiar with the books, uh, the uh, electronic libraries that our scholars have access to, um, but with Mayon News, we'll have access to hundreds of uh, current event articles, great opportunities to do some writing. Uh, we also have Voyager, uh, Voyager Passports, and VMAT along with Language Live. Uh, and so what type of professional learning you receive will of course depend on the grade level that you're working with and the content area that you're working with. Um, so I won't overwhelm you with all of that information. Um, your principals can share with you your schedule uh, to make sure that we stay on schedule. A lot of moving parts, uh, but I do feel uh, confident that uh, by engaging in the professional learning that we have scheduled, uh, we will be ready for our scholars. And this also includes making sure that we're taking a close look at safety and wellness. Uh, so we do have some training on COVID-19, uh, returning to school safely. And this is about keeping our spaces clean and sanitized. And this is important. Even before our scholars return to the buildings, we do want to make sure that we're being mindful of the spaces that we're using, uh, that we're being mindful of the social distancing, and that we are staying abreast of any changes that may take place with the CDC guidelines or the guidelines from our state within the Alabama Department of Public Health. Um, there are uh, several FAQ documents that are out uh, on the website, on our social media sites for our employees as well as for um, our parents and families. And as you have questions, please let us know. Uh, we are going to ask that principals collect any questions that you may get from your team members this week so that we can add to those FAQs and make sure that you all are equipped to be successful during this school year and have an amazing opening when our scholars do return. So a lot of work to get done, but again, I am confident that we've got the right people um, as part of Team Selma. Super excited to have our return to excellence. That is the name of our plan and it is posted on our website and social media sites. I encourage you all to read it. It is divided into three areas. We've got the wellness part, the instruction and technology, as well as the operations and facilities. And you'll learn about parts of each of those sections uh, do, throughout the course of the next two and a half weeks. So again, Welcome back to the 2021 school year, a year like no other. And remember, we are Team Selma. One team, one voice, committed to excellence. Welcome back. Good morning. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Selma City Schools Board of Education and our school board members. Mrs. Danielle Wooten, District 1. Mrs. Brenda Randolph Ogumanu, District 2, Vice President. Mrs. Phyllis Hauser, District 3. Dr. Tanya Miles, District 4. And I am Johnny Miles III, President. We pray that you and your family have been safe during these challenging months, and I assure you the next few will be challenging as well. Instead of teaching your students your way in your classroom, you have to pivot to online instruction. You will likely be trying to reach students who may not have access to technology or reliable internet. 
They may be dealing with family issues at home or may simply not be able to engage in the same way virtually as they do in person. You may be trying to hold a live virtual class only to have your own child pop up in the background, and we get it. But at the end of the day, you got this. You are a teacher. You have a special gift for knowing what your students need and how to give it to them. You encourage them when they fail and celebrate their successes. You can teach from anywhere, even your own living room. And all of you will have to do this while juggling the effects of COVID-19 on your family and personal lives as well. Rest assured that Selma City Schools will continue to work hard to support you and provide the resources you'll need to sustain this period of remote learning. We're proud of the efforts of Team Selma to forge new partnerships while renewing and expanding existing partnerships. We will continue to pursue these kind of resources so that you'll have as many tools in your toolbox as possible. While there have been many challenges and yet more still to come, we are grateful for your efforts and your ingenuity. We still have much work to do, but the things we will learn and the innovations you will have pioneered will not soon leave us. We are building new structures and practices that will last beyond COVID-19 and will benefit Selma students for many years to come. Again, on behalf of the board, we thank you for all that you do, and we pray that you and your families have a safe and awesome year. And remember, we're right there with you. Good morning. God bless each one of you, our educators, our teachers, our custodians, and everyone who works for the Selma City School System. Good morning, Dr. Avius Williams. God bless you. Thank you for a great leadership and for our school system. And we're just so grateful, so thankful to have you. To all of our wonderful teachers and educators, God bless you this year, uh, 2020 school year, as you began to come back into the classrooms, back to your uh, ministry. I didn't say job. I said ministry, because that's exactly what you're doing. You are blessing our children, and you are a very important part of our community. And I want you to know that today. Your job is extremely important. And we thank you for the sacrifice. Thank you for allowing the Lord to use you as an educator, because educators are extremely important to our communities in which we live in uh, today. God bless you. As you go back into the school year, I want you to be encouraged. We are in the midst of a pandemic, and there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of questionable things. There's a lot of unanswered questions. But I want you to know that the Lord has you covered. Amen? God has you covered. And I want to pray with you this morning. I just wanted to encourage you uh, through the, the book of Psalms, the 91st Division of Psalms, verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. Here's how it reads. It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Verse 7 says, A thousand shall fall by their side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. God bless you. I pray for the covering of God upon you, your children in which you minister to this year. For the whole school, we are praying for the power of God to rest upon you, to give you uh, intellect, to give you wisdom, understanding, and the strength and the ability to do what needs to be done in the middle of this pandemic. God be with you. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today for every educator, for our leaders, for Dr. Avis Williams, for all our principals. We thank you to God for the custodians. And everyone, those that cook and prepare food for our kids, I pray, Father, that you would bless, even in the middle of this pandemic, you have shown yourself to be strong. You have shown yourself to be a mighty, miracle-working God. Today, as we pray, I pray that you bless every educator, every teacher, everyone who works with and around our children. Even as this year begins off virtually, I pray that you give the, the wisdom, the knowledge, God bless them as they minister to our kids over the internet. 
Bless each child, each family. I pray for the moms and dads. I pray for the children. I pray, oh God, that every teacher would not be overtasked, that the teachers, oh God, would feel your power, would feel your anointing, your glory working in them as they prepare the lessons, as they reach out to the children. I pray that you would give new ideas, give strategies, bring in revelation to the, children, to the teachers that they may find different ways to minister to the kids. Now bless each one of them. And Lord, as they bless our children, I pray that you bless their families. Cover every teacher, cover every educator, cover every person that works with children. Bless them and cover them, God. We come against COVID-19. We rebuke infections. We rebuke, God, any kind of illness or sickness that will affect our teachers and our children. Bless them and cover them as they go back into the school year. And I pray, God, that even in the midst of this pandemic, that this year will be a superb year for the Selma City School System and other surrounding school systems. So bless your Lord. Be with them now. I pray, I ask in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. To all our wonderful educators, the Lord loves you. He's going to protect you. He's going to cover you. Be encouraged and be strengthened in the name of the Lord. Have a great year. This year, with all the opposition and all the changes that we've had to make, God is still with you. And he's going to get you through this. So God bless you. Good morning, Selma City Schools. It's my pleasure to stand before you today. And I am so excited about your theme, making changes today to empower generations to come. You may be a seasoned educator. You may even be a novice. But wherever you fall on the spectrum of experience, get ready for a year like none other. You're probably saying, how can she say this, knowing that we're in the midst of a pandemic? Yes, we are fighting an enemy that we cannot see. But we also have the opportunity to meet the needs of the students in a way that will impact them for a lifetime. Virtual learning takes you and your students to places and opportunities that will make a difference like none other. Get ready to eliminate ordinary from your vocabulary. Business as usual will be a thing of the past. You see, when promise and pressure collide, things happen. Things change. You have made the promise of committed excellence, and it has collided with the pressures of COVID. But I want you to know that change will take place because you have the ingredients to make that change positive. You have protection, you have direction, and you have connection. The first thing I want to mention is protection. For the first time, we're having to focus on protecting ourselves physically so that our students, so that we're not sick and we're not passing uh, the, the virus on to others. And so we are placed in a situation where we must be intentional in paying attention to details. Even though we may be social distancing, I want you to know that you are not alone. It may appear that you are isolated. But one thing we know is that Selma City is a team that is made up of one voice. And that voice is committed to excellence. The social distancing only serves as a protection, but it will not prevent you from connecting academically, professionally, and even socially. Direction you have. Every successful journey includes direction. Ready Common Core, A plus College Ready, will serve as your roadmap to success. Today is the luncheon pad for extraordinary success. Buckle up and get ready for a year of glowing growth. Not only will your students grow, but you will grow as well. From the superintendent to the central office, to the school buildings, to the community, I believe that this will be a year that will be remembered for years to come. Stevie Wonder will be able to see the strength of Selma City Schools team. 
Stevie Wonder will be able to see the success of what is about to take place in this city. People will come from miles around to see what is happening in Selma City. How can you say that? Because Selma City not only has protection and direction, but Selma City is connected. You have that connection. Yes, you'll be using Schoolology to extend learning from the classroom to the home, but I know that one of your major focuses has been connection with the community. Because you already have that foundation, it will be easy for you to maintain that one voice, the one team with one common goal, common goal and that is excellence. I say to you this morning, let the fire for learning be the next contagious act in our community. Let's catch on fire and make a change today that is going to empower generations to come. Because the students, teachers, administrators, parents, and community are already connected from the things that you have done in the past. I salute you, Dr. Williams, and your team for a job well done. I believe that this academic year of virtual learning will provide you and your students with the you and your students with the tools to be the best that they can be. Can you picture this? The process of protection, direction, and connection coming together. The fire from the central office to the school buildings, to the home and the community, where the nutritional uh, support services, the custodial support services, uh, the community partners and leaders are all coming together with three things in mind, protection, direction, and connection. Selma will again be a national focus because of the success of Selma City Schools. So let's get this year started with an outbreak of academic success that is contagious. Why? Because you started making changes today that will impact generations to come. You are now ready for takeoff, Selma City Schools. Let's get ready. One team, one voice, committed to excellence. Have a great year, Selma City Schools.